error code comes up, you'll probably see a lot of frost on the very back of the fridge. If you don't, first unplug the fridge, plug it back in. Um, hopefully it will not come back, but if it does, then you probably have a problem. The first thing you got to do is make sure that all, it's all cleared out and then let everything sit for about a day so that it all defrosts out and then you won't have to worry about all the ice you got to deal with back here. Um, to disassemble then, you'll have the drawers right here that will just lift right up and out. It's not even screwed into anything, so it should just come right out. You'll have the rails here. There'll be two screws here and here, and then that should pop right out. And then there'll be two screws holding in the back, one up here and one down here. They'll be behind clips. So unscrew that, and then that back piece will be attached to this connection back here. So remove that, and then the whole back should come right out. So um, the problem is going to be with your defrost circuitry here. Um, what you have is your defrost heater, your temperature sensor for the defrost, and a fuse. So I happen to snag a repair manual. Um, first thing I'm going to check is the defrost heater should be between 103 and 119 ohms. I have an ohm meter here. I have it set to 200 as its max value. I know it should be within that range. So the heater should be this first top yellow one. Uh, this is actually two pieces here. I'm trying to do this one-handed, so excuse me. So it doesn't matter which polarity is which, this is just resistance. And as you can see, I'm showing about 111 ohms. So the heater seems fine. So next, the last one should come out as one unit connected together. The red line should be your fuse. The orange line should be your temperature sensor. First, I'll check the fuse. That's an easy one. It should read zero ohms. So I'll just stick my leads in here, and less than one, that's pretty good. As long as it's close to zero, you're fine. So nothing's wrong with the fuse. The last one is the sensor, and I have the table from the repair manual. Um, in here I have about 74.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I don't have a 74 on the table, so I did some math. At 74, it should be about 11.5 kilo ohms. At 75, it should be about 11.25 kilo ohms. So I'll set this to about 20K as my max. And I'll stick this to the orange ones. just about 11 so it's not quite in that range but it's about 254 ohms per degree so eh, it's off by a degree that's not a big deal uh, there's, I don't think there's anything wrong with it so unfortunately for me everything checks out and the next thing is the control board so that's probably the problem with mine um, if you have the same issue the repair manual goes on to talk about uh, test mode 3. If you go in the back of the fridge, uh, disassemble the back, you'll see this control board. There'll be a button in on it. You'll press it three times, and it will go into force defrost. And you should see 112 to 116 volts go to the heater. If not, then the control board's busted.